Hello Year 8 and welcome to your music lesson. Welcome back. Uh, this music lesson will be on minimalism and rhythm, which we'll talk a bit more about in a little bit. But basically, rhythm is what we're going to be looking into now when it comes to uh, the videos. And then minimalism will be a research project that I'll be asking you to complete over the next few weeks. Uh, but let's get started. Uh, as PowerPoint states here, you probably already found it if you're watching this, but the video, uh, the video, this video to help you right now can be found on the school YouTube channel, probably under Year 8 Music Lesson 1. Uh, to upload any work, I ask you to upload. Uh, you can upload it in a number of different ways. You can do a Word document or a PowerPoint. You can screenshot your work and then upload it then, or you can even take a photo of any written work you've done and upload it that way. Uh, when it comes to this lesson though, this sort of the video section, it's, this is the lesson objective, is to understand and create basic rhythms. So we've done a bit of rhythm before when we did it in year seven. This is more like a sort of refresher lesson because we've got a lot to do. Uh, and then just to get a sort of basic understanding and just really get good at it again. So at a basic level, you should be able to clap a basic rhythm uh, at a better level, so that's the yellow box in the middle. Uh, you are able to write and clap your own rhythm of your choice, so you create your own and then clap that. And then at a the sort of top end of the scale at this point, in the green box on the right, you are able to write and clap your own rhythm, including adding rests. So rhythm, we talked about this before, but I'm just going to go over it again. Rhythm is a mix of long and short sounds as you move through the song. Uh, with that, there is a sense of pulse. Remember, the pulse is like the heartbeat of the song that keeps you in time. And then with that, you use that pulse and you write a rhythm that goes around it. We use crotchets and quavers. We used the words tea and coffee before, if you remember. So tea was one clap and coffee was two claps with the pulse. So if you had a pulse, you do tea, tea, coffee, tea, 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 coffee, tea. The pulse would stay exactly the same and would not change. We don't speed up. We don't slow down the pulse, we keep it the same. Now, uh, your first task, and this task I would like you to write down or type up, and I'd like you to upload it on to uh, class charts. Uh, I'd like you to write out the words for th rhythm three and two and try clapping these in time with a pulse. So I've done rhythm one, TT coffee tea. Uh, I would like you to have a go at doing ry rhythms two and three. And then I'd like you to have a go at creating another two rhythms of your own. I'd like you to write in the actual notes as well, so the dots with the lines come off it, the crotches and the quavers. And I'd also like you to write tea and coffee underneath so I can see that you understand what you're doing. And then I'd like you to also, uh, you can start adding rests, which is shh. You can see that as a sort of the vertical sort of squiggly line like we did before. So don't go too hard into how it has to look, just to sort of notify me that I know it's there. Remember as well, you're only allowed four beats every bar. So no, no tea, tea, coffee, coffee, coffee. You're going to have four, one, two, three, four of each thing. As I said, at the end of the lesson, I'd like you to upload this before the end of the sort of hour of our lesson slot. Uh, after you've done that, I would like you to then uh, have a go at writing down the teas and coffee for this long rhythm. All right, I'd like you to write that down on the same page as you did for the previous task for rhythm two. And I would like you to um, make sure that you take a photo of this and upload it. What you're supposed to do with this, as I said, it's tea, coffee, tea, coffee, tea, as I'll give you the first bar. Once you've written it down, I'd like to have a go at clapping this rhythm from start to finish with a really good sense of pulse. Uh, it doesn't matter how fast or slow you do it, as long as that doesn't change. I'd maybe start slow and work your way up. So you should end up with coffee, tea, coffee, tea, coffee, coffee, tea, tea, coffee, 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 coffee. coffee. As it goes there. Love it. Once you have done all that, I would like you to continue with your minimalist research project. Uh, the criteria and examples for this project can be found on class charts in the homework section. Under It should be under minimalism research project. Uh, and then you can get completing slides one and two during this lesson. This does not need to be, these, the um, research project part does not need to be uploaded yet but uh, it will be has to be uploaded in a few weeks' time, so you want to make sure you get on it, because there's about at least 10 slides in these things, so you don't want to just leave it all to the last minute. Apart from that, well done. Uh, I'll talk to you next week. All the best.